The unique feature of Minsky is the Godley table, named in honour of Wynne Godley, and that is designed to handle financial flows. So if you click on the bank icon there and then drag it where you want on the canvas, and either double click or right click, what you get is a way of describing financial flows using a double entry bookkeeping table just like accountants use. So I'll just quickly whack together one of these and put a little illustration of how Minsky works in this sense. I'm going to create one asset for the banking system called reserves and I'll just name this to be the banking system because we'll see a few other views of the financial system later. And then if I click here in the plus column I create another asset which I'll call loans and then create again and I'll now say let's create liabilities and I'll call one I for the investment sector, one C for the consumption sector, one W for workers and one more which I'll make the equity of the banking sector which I'll call bank and underscore NW so that the, the, the underscore followed by the curly brackets give us a um, <coughs> subscript and you'll notice that down the bottom here those elements are being added to the icon as I type. The bank one hasn't quite turned up yet, but let's uh, uh, add some initial conditions in here. Let's say there's an initial deposit of 100 by the consumption sector. And notice the row sum is over here is turning out to be 100. All rows have to sum to zero. So I need to show that as being an amount of money, say, deposited by the consumption sector. Uh, and assets are shown as positives and liabilities as negatives and equity is the same so that all rows can sum to zero to make sure you got the right mathematical operation. Having done that, let's now say that there is, for example, lending. And I'm going to make this loanable fund style. Let's say the consumption sector lends to the investment sector. And any, any source of any flow is called is a positive, and the sink, the destination, is a negative. So that's now showing a transfer of money from the consumption sector to the investment sector. You can now see lenders turning up here and the bank uh, net worth is also turned up in the icon itself. Let's say you also have servicing the debt. Well that's going to be paying interest. Which is going, interest is going to go from here to here. And then repayment, repaying the debt. That's going to be a payment from the investment sector to the consumption sector. And let's say we now look at consumption sector hiring workers. Well, that means I've got to pay wages. And I'll make this W underscore C for the wages in the consumption sector. This is now minus W underscore C, the wages being paid in. The same thing for workers in the investment sector. That's going to be I underscore, hang on a second, I, what have I done there? Okay. I underscore, sorry, W underscore I being paid into the W underscore I paid into the workers account. Make a bit more space here. Then I'm going to have consumption. There's the typing mistakes, so I'll fix that up and let's see. In here in this arrow error, if I use the control key, I can go back one character at a time and correct those errors. The arrow key in its own this moves me between windows like so, as you can see. Now I have C underscore W consumption by the workers. They're going to be paying money to the consumption sector. And I'll have bankers purchase consumption goods, let's say. So that's going to be where are they turning up? Well, they haven't got anything here so far, so let's whack in something for them to get an income and uh, this is going to be an uh, intermediation fee. So that's going to be payment from the consumption sector. I'll call it B underscore F, the bank fee, meaning there's now income turning up in the 
banker's account from which they can then purchase. So I'm going to have them uh, minus, uh, let's see, C underscore bank, V for consumption by bankers. That's going to be a payment. Pardon me, it should be plus. I'll show you what happens when I make a mistake here. C underscore B. Uh, the program now records that takes some of the various two times that. Uh, it should be zero. So I've got to go back and just use the arrow, control arrow key to go along and get rid of the minus key. And that's now correct. And now let's say that bankers can purchase investment goods as well. I'll call this I, I underscore B and they pay that across to the investment sector. Okay, That is fairly rapidly done as you can see, uh, but it's now created a fairly complex system, uh, financial system model. I'll just, uh, I'll make this with that name. Now if I export the check, let's hope the latex works this time around. Sometimes we get little bugs like that. Let's go across and check out and see what the code looks like. Okay, and you can now see, I hope, that a whole range of differential equations have been created that describe those financial flows. Now, let's just elaborate the model a bit because one thing Minsky is designed to do is to enable you to see a financial system from many perspectives. So if I bring down another bank icon, and let's say we make this the investment sector's view. Well, I've also got that with consumption sector. At the moment that blue thing is just a label, so you can see the label's been applied there. Let's just expand this out a bit. Now, if I say, well, I want to put to what assets are available, the only assets could, which can exist are the new ones added to the system or existing liabilities elsewhere in the system. I'm doing the consumption sector. There are its assets. And bang, all those elements are now brought across. Now, um, it has, this sector has no liabilities, so I'll have to show now is the equity of the consumption sector. Unfortunately, you notice a little element there with this, uh, something you have to control, it comes up too often. It's reacting too soon to see the same character being used. I click a couple of times, underscore NW, it goes away. We'll fix that bug at some stage. Okay, now what I've got to now do to make this consistent is to, sh is to give the obverse of the elements that are currently there. So where I've got to need, I've got to have a plus. So the Payment of the bank fee is a transfer from the network of the bank the consumption sector to the banking sector, and all of this these are all uh, inflows. And outflow because it's lending. Inflow. Actually, pardon me, I forgot to show this, I should have shown is that there's another asset, and that's loans. Ah, oh, pardon me, I've got loans shown over in that column. I have to transfer that across because doing uh, loanable funds, that is an asset of the consumption sector, not an asset of the banking sector. And come over here, delete that. And add an asset here called loans. And now that I've got that there, I should show well, there's some of these the um, uh, lending and repayment should be shown in the loans column. If I click on that lend there and then drag, notice the, shimmer, the cursor changes. I can now drag that element to somewhere else in the table. So I've now got lending and repayment turning up in the um, correct column. And I now need just to show that the actual initial equity of the consumption sector starts at 100. 
So there we see it from the point of view of the um, consumption sector. I can also add another one. For the investment sector. So choose again what the potential assets here and the drop down will show me I can have either workers or investment sector. That's its asset. Now of course it's got a liability. Which are the loans. And now those operations are automatically brought across by Minsky. And then the remaining uh, elements are its equity. So have I, now again with the program will complain here, just click on OK a couple of times, we'll get rid of that bug. Underscore NW, net worth. And so the purchases by the banking sector are an inflow. The payment by interest to interest is an outflow. As is hiring workers. And finally, let's add the workers' view for the system. Control key works to get around uh, the ed edit boxes fairly rapidly. We'll find you in that over time. Now, asset, what is left on the workers? We choose that. They don't have any liabilities either. This is now their net worth. W underscore. Ah, again, the same message. Get rid of it. Okay. okay underscore. And then, ah, pardon me. NW, the net worth. And now that is an outflow. And these are two inflows. react. Okay, having done all that, let's go back and save the whole system and let's see what the equation look like now. I'll shut down this tech viewer and go back and That's the run. Let's see. So I've got the net worth equation setting up as well. So that is a pretty rapid way to build a moderately sophisticated view of a financial system. And I can add to it as well if I decide, for example, to have the uh, model of the government sector, then I bring in a central bank and that would have lending by the central bank to the uh, banking sector as reserves government, uh, uh, treasury operations and so on. And I'll show you shortly what it can look like when you put a model like this together and simulate it.